I S U P K. They try to tell me I can't win all because of the skin I'm in. But then I look in the mirror again, and then we realize we better than them. We better than them. They divided and they conquered my kin But separated by the pigmentation of our skin It's just that white supremacy agenda again They want your mind and gold, cutting sugar cane, turning cotton gins We left the plantation, then they pushed us into tenements Police patrolling, hunting all my people like we're venison The government's the criminals, they the real terrorists Moving more coke than a Cuban watching pelicans Selling all the dope, trying to kill us with the medicine You a slave if you think that we're American America was great before the pilgrims at a settlement, Trump gets an office, black uniting with the Mexicans, black Hispanic Haitians, Jamaicans, we all relatives. Shalom, Paul has been. They said the ISUPK side out one west on Johnson first Street, Harlem, New York, under commanding General Yehana. We are teaching at blacks, Hispanic, and Native Indians, all the lost 12 tribes of Israel. Right? If they do a history in slavery, the Hispanics was enslaved just as us. The native Indians was in slavery, just as us black men. Right. So we all are black people. So when I say black, I mean blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. The Venezuelans are black people. The people from Brazil is black people. The Colombians, the Mexicans, they are black people. The native Indians with the Caribbean Arawaks, they are black people. You understand? And black men don't be fooled. When they say that you are an African, you is not an African black man. You better than an African. African sold you in slavery, black man. You is not no African. That is a lie that the white man taught us. Right. Through our whole years, we hear him as African. The white man came. He enslaved us. Make us forget who he is. Then give us some education and then told us that we is African. But you better than an African black man. You's not no African. That is a lie. You understand? Nick Cannon, he told the truth. Nick Cannon spoke the truth and said that we are Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. He never said you's a Muslim or you's a Christian or you's a Hindu black man. He said you's a Hebrew Israelite. And Viacom fired him. You understand? Viacom fired him because why? Why did they fire him? Because you could say anything that you could say. You could say he's a Muslim, you could say he's a Christian, you could say he's a Hindu. But once a black man comes out and speaks the truth and say he's an Israelite according to the Bible, the world doesn't want you to know that. They want to keep that, that secret hidden. Because if you only figure out that you is really a true black man, then you will rule the planet Earth. The book of Ephesians 6 and verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Rise for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, black man. You understand? We're not fighting against you, black man. You is not my enemy, black man. You understand? You is my flesh and blood, black man. The East Indians is not my flesh and blood. The Chinese is not my flesh and blood. But you, black man, is my flesh and blood. Right. We're not fighting against you, black man. Right. But against principalities. But against principalities. Right. Against powers. Against powers. Right. Against rulers of darkness. Against rulers of darkness. Right. Of this world. Of this world. You know who we're fighting against, black man? We fight against all the other races that is over us. That is who we're fighting against, black man. We fight against the government. We fight against the music industry. We fight against the banking system. Because all those races own the banking system. All the races in the government. All those races we fight against black man. We're not fighting against flesh and blood. We fight against principalities and the evilness of this world, black man. You understand? There is the thing so we fight against. We fight against Viacom. Again, Viacom fired Nick Cannon because he spoke the truth. Them is the people who are fighting against black man. Well, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
You want to know why the number one people with AIDS is black people? Because the movie, the music, the movie industry, the kind of thing that they just teach our women, they just teach our women to become whores. That is why we see number one with AIDS, black man. You understand? You don't want to know why these drug dealers? Because the same movie industries like Viacom, they're teaching us to be drug dealers. That means we're fighting against black man. We're not fighting against each other, black man. We're fighting against the other races that are oppressing us. That is who we're fighting against. Principalities and powers. That means the things we're fighting against black man. You understand? We are not affiliated with any other religious group on the face of the earth. We are not Christian. We are not Muslim. We are not Hindus. We are not Buddhist. Right. We, we is not um, Egyptologists. You understand? If anybody say Christ is black, do not believe them. It is only true if we say it. You understand? If we say Christ is black, believe us. We are not affiliated with no other group on the face of the earth. If it is not under the ISUPK, it is not in the truth. Matthew 24 verse 15. When you therefore shall see the abomination of the desolation spoken of Daniel the prophet. Right? So when you see the abomination of desolation, black man, they said we're going into the history here to show that we is not no African. That is a lie that the white man taught us. We better than African. That's why we see number one in sports, number one in, in um, rap. We see number one in everything on the face of you. You see any African is number one in, in basketball or football? Black people, we see number one in it. Not no African. You better than an African black man. And today we're going to show the history that we is not no stinking African. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 15. When you see therefore, shall you see the abomination of the desolation spoken of Daniel the prophet stand in holy place. Whoso read it, let him understand. Right, so when you see the abomination of desolation, they're talking about when they see the Roman armies come past and they come to Jerusalem to go up against Christ. That is the abomination of desolation. They come to take over, they come to kill. When they see those armies come, the abomination of desolation. They're coming to our temples and sacrificing pigs. Just um, just to, to taunt us, make us feel bad. Just to mock our, our God. When they see the abomination of desolation, stand in the holy place. When they, when they say stand in the holy place, that means when they see this abomination of desolation. You understand? This is what you go do. Go ahead. Verse 16. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Then let them which is in Judea flee into the mountains. So when the Jews, the Israelites was in Jerusalem and they see the Roman armies come, which is the abomination of desolation, flee into the mountains. The mountains was Africa, Egypt. If you it, if it look at a map right now, um, it's just a landmass, a border separating Jerusalem and Egypt. You understand? It's a border separating them. Just like how it have a border separating America and Mexico. You understand? It's a border separating them. It doesn't mean Mexico is the United States because it's the same landmass, but it's a border separating them. You understand? It's the same thing what happened with Jerusalem and Egypt. It was a border separating them. There's two different races of people. You understand? So when Christ said, when they see the abomination of desolation, they all run to the mountains. The mountains was Africa. That is where the black Jews ran into. That's how I'm good. Verse 17. Let him which is on the house stop not come down to take anything out of his house. Right? And let him which is on your house stop. Don't even come down and take nothing from your house. Go do that. Well. Verse 18. Neither let him which is in the field return back. To take his clothes. Right? Neither which is who is ever outside of Jerusalem. Don't even come back in to get your clothes. Just just leave. Just go. Flee to the mountain. Don't come back and get nothing. So that is how we are end up in Africa, black, black man. You is not no African. You understand? That? Saying that we is an African, remember that you say the East Indians is Africans too. 
Better I say the Arabs as Africans too. Right. Better I say the Chinese as Africans too. Right. Not because your dark skin and complexion means it's an African. That is a lie. There's no proof, black man, that you is an African. Right. There's no proof. You understand? You is a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. Right. You not no African. Right. Bob Marley was dark skin and complexion. And Bob Marley is not black. He's a white man. Right. Because Bob Marley's father was a 61-year-old British white man who had sex with a 16-year-old Jamaican girl. Luke chapter 21 and verse 20. And when you shall see Jerusalem compass with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is, is near. Right, so, so when you see the armies, when you see Jerusalem compact with these armies, then you know that the desolation is near, black man. You understand? Go ahead. Verse 21. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. Right, let them which is in Jerusalem flee to the mountains, which was Africa. That is how we end up in Africa. Because the abomination of desolation was there in Jerusalem. Coming to go against Christ and against Christ's people. That is how we end up in Africa. Christ told us when you see that, run to the mountain. Right. Which was Egypt. Right. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. Okay. And, let, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. And let them which are not in the countries enter into there too. Right. Verse 22. For, for these by the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Right. right. So black man, you better. You is not no African. That is a lie. Africans don't even like black people. You understand? We, we better than Africans. That's why we see number one in everything. Which time number one rapper you know is African? From, from, from the Congo or from, from Niger, or from Simeon. It's black people who came off the slave ships. We is the number one in everything. We better than Africans, black man. Don't take that chain up. Use a Hebrew Israelite, according to the Bible. Acts, Acts chapter 21 and verse 37. And as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, may I speak unto thee? Who said, can thou speak Greek? Right? So they wanted to know if Paul could speak Greek. You understand? Go ahead. Again, we're bringing all the history here to show that we is not African. Not because a dark skin and complexion means it's an African. You understand? DNA testing is a lie. You can't trust DNA testing. You understand? You go in one lab today, the lab say you're 95% um, black. You go to the next lab, they say 40% black. You can't trust the any testing. So black man, you not no African. Don't let nobody fool you. Use a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. Well, verse 38. And not thou an Egyptian? Right, so they ask St. Paul, and you use an Egyptian? You understand? They ask St. Paul if you use an Egyptian. But why they tell him Paul that? It's because Paul was dark skin and complexion. And the Africans was dark skin and complexion too. So that is why they was asking Paul if he's an Egyptian. Go ahead. Which before these did made it an uproar and lead us out in the wilderness for thousands of men that were murderers. Right. Go ahead. Verse 39. But Paul said, I am a man which I am a Jew of Cyrus. Right? So Paul now, the asked Paul enters an Egyptian. Because Paul was dark skinned just like the Africans. So Paul let them know, no, I is not no stinking African. I is a Jew. Not because that dark skin means I is African. We better than Africans. We is right. prophets. Right. We is priests. And we're going to take over the face of the earth in the kingdom of heaven to come. There's a video circulating where certain individuals saying, um, black people on the other side. We is the black people on the other side. You understand? And very soon, if all of black men don't come on this side with us, you understand, you're not going to feel the right at the most high. So this is why we're out here to teach you black man. Stop sinning. We're not fighting against you, black man. We're fighting against the powers. 
the principalities. We fight against those other races that is above us. You understand? So them asking Paul if he's an Egyptian because Paul was dark skinned um, just like the Africans. You understand? We dark skinned just like the Africans. The East Indians dark skinned just like the Africans. You understand? But Paul tell them no, it have a difference. I am a Jew. You understand? When they read the book, the book of Romans, Paul say that too. He's from the tribe of Benjamin. He's an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. The book of Joel chapter 3 and verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Right, in those days when you shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Right? Verse 2. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Right, you will gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. You understand? That is in the Middle East. The Lord is going to bring all the races, all the, the, the Chinese, the East Indians, the white man. He will bring them in the Middle East. You understand? This is what the prophet Joel is saying here. In those days, this is what is going to happen. Go ahead. And I will plead with them. Therefore, my people, and for my heritage, Israel. And you will plead with them, my people. How the Lord does plead with you. The Lord does plead with you like, oh gosh, oh, forgive us now. Um, don't, don't do them that now. The Lord does plead with people so. You know the Lord does plead with you? By whipping your backs. By killing you. That's how the Lord does plead with people. When, the Lord, when you say, now nah, Lord, I had enough. This is enough, Lord. It's too much. That is how the Lord has pleaded with you. You understand? The Lord will pleaded with you like how like, them Christians has pleaded with you. Yeah, well, I'll stop doing that now. Well, why you have to do this for? Let, let, let me join hands now, boss. Let, let me cool it now. Now, nah, that, that is not the Lord. The Lord is a man of war. When the Lord said he pleaded with you, that is when you had enough. You understand? That is when the Lord is going to whip your back. He whip your back so much. You got to say, now nah, I had enough. You understand? He killed so much of your race. You're going to say, nah, I had enough. So when certain people say black people on the other side, we as the black people on the other side, all of us should come across here, black man. Right. Come and get a flyer. Learn all the history. Learn all the heritage. All is not no African. All are better than African. We the number one in basketball and sports. We the number one in tennis. We the number one in everything, black man. You better than African. Don't let them white people and them tell you that you're African. You're a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. Right. Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot. Right. So they have cast lots for my people and given a boy to a harlot. So they, so, so they cast lots to our people. You understand? Making us become whores, prostitutes. You understand? Forcing the homosexuality down with truth. Giving a boy to a harlot. Joel chapter 3 and verse 4. Yeah! What have you to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? Right? What have you to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? You understand? Tyree and Zidon is two African ports. Right? Remember this history bring out here to show we is not African. We as Hebrew Israelites, saying we as Africans is like, is, like, is like a disrespect in the Lord. Or you gonna say he's African? You better than African black man. You understand? Tari and Zidon was two famous ports in Africa. Just like how it had Port of Spain. Port of Spain is a port in Trinidad. Tari and Zidon is two famous ports in Africa. Good. And the course of the Palestines. Will you render me a recompense? Right, the Lord is saying, will you render me a recompense? Will you repay me? Right. And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Right, so will you return and pay me swiftly and speedily? Will I return a recompense upon your head? Will I, I going to repay you, that's what the Lord is saying. Right. Verse 5, because you have taken my silver, and my goal. Right, because you have taken my silver and gold. The Africans captured 
the black people whose Hebrew Israelite, who is God's silver and gold and soul us to the white man. Right? And I've carried them into your temples and my godly pleasant things. Verse 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians. Right? So the Lord is saying here, the Africans sold us to the Grecians. The Grecians is the white people and them. That is how we were sold into slavery. The Africans captured the black people who is Israelites and sold us to the white man. We is not Africans. You better than an African black man. Stop saying you're an African. If you want Christ to really return and save you, stop saying you're an African and stop going to church. Because your Christian pastor will not bring out these scriptures to show you. Yes, I'm going to continue. That you might remove them from far from their borders. Verse 7. Behold, I will, I will rise them out of the places where you have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. Right, so the Lord is saying he's going to rise up out. Rise us up out of the place where you sold us. And he will re repay you, African. You is going to get a repayment. And that is judgment. The Lord is coming to put all you Africans in slavery. You understand? The Lord is going to destroy Allah because Allah captured us and sold us to the white man. That is what you all Africans did. And black man, you walking around here thinking you're African, you're not no African black man. You're from the descendants of slavery. Your four parents, slave in Trinidad. This land here is a bloodland for enslaving black people. That um, Woodford Square, they used to hang these slaves in Woodford Square, black man. You is not no African. You come from the descendants of slavery, black man. You better than an African. You is a Hebrew Israelite, according to the Bible. And God said he only loves black people. You better than, a, um, you better than an African, black man. You is a Hebrew Israelite. You understand? Don't let the white man fool and say you're African. They cannot know the truth. They cannot spoke the truth and say that we are Hebrew Israelites. You understand? And fire come fired him. You understand? Fire come fired the cannon for saying we are Hebrew Israelites. Because fire come does not want the world to know the truth. Which is you, black man, is the greatest thing on the face of the earth. Which is a Hebrew Israelite. There is not no African. We is the black men on the other side. You understand? And if all the black men don't come on this other side here, you understand? All the better come and join us. Come get a flyer. Join the ISUPK. Because very soon, all them other races, when Christ return, if they don't die, you're going to whip the backs of every single race on the face of the earth and put them in slavery. Our history is evidence Who say I'm racist by definition I'm prejudiced Got a right to be hesitant As the African Methodists We the endangered species They'd rather protect the elephants We the sons of God like a seraphim God chose a people from the Old and New Testament Black power, Kwong Yasha Allah, black excellence We your new rulers bow down to your eminence They try to tell me I can't win All because of the skin I'm in but then I look in the mirror again And then we realize we better than them We better than them They try to make you think rich Why? To make your whole life a big risk So what you do? Commit a crime, get locked up, come home, can't get a job Man, that shit just make you think bricks They trap you Ain't no way out of this poverty Fuck being the prodigy Cause the world say you ain't shit And then they give you religion As soon as all that fails They like to make you feel it ain't this so what you do, you just can't get it right Yeah, they like to say the truth hurts But watch me take a life And they like to keep you in darkness So you can't get the Christ Not knowing like Jacob's sons He is real light, get it? So